Hey guys, so I am not rich by any means. Just the very fact that I qualify for the stimulus check shows that I am not rich. However, I've been feeling really weird about the whole idea of getting this stimulus check, even more so since Trump's name has been printed on these checks. Now, of course, this money isn't actually coming from Trump, but still, as my own personal sort of protest of all the insanity that's been going on, I've been thinking about a way that I can use this money to do some good. And when I came across this piece of information, I immediately knew what I wanted to do with it. So let's do it right now. Let's give away this $1,200 stimulus check and help fight the dangers of mainstream religion. By the way, I don't want you to feel bad about this. If you need the stimulus money, by all means, keep it and use it. This is just something I want to do personally. So as many of you know, I'm a survivor of religious trauma syndrome. Growing up, I was made to feel horrible and crazy by the church for doubting the existence of the God of the Bible. Now there's this account on Instagram that posts amazing memes showing how dangerous mainstream religion can be. Her name is Godless Mom. Her real name is Courtney Hurd. And I was scrolling through my feed and I saw a post that she made that said, I'm sad, I need your help. So I clicked on it and what it says is, feeling distant and sad that my friend has been arrested and is potentially facing the death penalty. More info is in the link in my bio. Mainly, we need to get him the biggest, baddest lawyer that there is, and that's why I'm asking for your donations. He's been arrested for his humanist activism. I'm desperate for your help. Please follow the link in my bio. So let's check this out. Let's go to her profile and take a look at exactly what's going on. So as we scroll through here, we see that Mubarak Bala in Nigeria has been arrested for blasphemy. Now, this is absolutely insane. The Nigerian police swiftly acted on these demands and arrested Mubarak Bala. Our initial concerns were twofold, retaining legal representation for Mubarak and preventing him from being moved to Kano State, where Sharia law rules. Should Mubarak have to face justice as prescribed in Sharia law, he will be facing execution. So the bad news is that we did get confirmation that Mubarak was moved to Kano a day ago. Wow, that is insane. Now, this is not the first time Mubarak has been persecuted for his beliefs. It turns out that he was also admitted to a psych ward for denying the existence of God. 29-year-old Mubarak Bala of Nigeria has been incarcerated in a mental institution for two weeks after being put there by his own family against his will for declaring himself an atheist. He's even being forcibly medicated for insanity even though doctors have said he has no psychological problems. In tweets and emails, Mubarak has said, quote, the biggest evidence of my mental illness was large blasphemies and denial of history of Adam and apostasy, to which the doctor said was a personality change that everyone needs a God. Now I completely relate to this. Obviously I wasn't thrown in a psych ward, wasn't as crazy as that, but as I said, growing up, I was made to feel absolutely insane and just awful for doubting the existence of the God of the Bible. So it says here, six years ago, our co-founder, Courtney Hurd, who's Godless Mom on Instagram, helped launch the free Mubarak social media campaign after her friend Mubarak Bala had been committed to a psychiatric hospital for being an atheist. When he was freed from the psychiatric ward, we launched a second campaign to bring him to North America where he would be safe, but he opted out knowing that his activism was needed more in Nigeria. He stayed despite the willingness of many people to fight for him to come here and despite the danger he faced because he knew someone had to do something to change the atmosphere in Nigeria. Mubarak Bala must be freed. We need to help him get a capable lawyer and we need your help to do that. Even just a dollar will help pay for Mubarak's legal representation in Nigeria. Please donate and if you can't donate, please share this everywhere. We cannot and will not stand by while someone is arrested for simply not believing in a God. So let's take a look. It says donate to Mubarak's legal fund now. Let's check it out. So here we have, wow, so they're at 5,914 raised uh, out of their goal of 6,500. Well, let's 
let's let's make them reach that. Let's donate and reach now and uh, help them blow past their goal. I think that's a fantastic way to use this stimulus money. I'm trying to get a response from Godless Mom right now. Uh, she hasn't seen the message yet. Hopefully she does. Let's see. In the meantime, let's keep going. All right, so let's do this, $1,200. Now, by the way, I haven't actually received my stimulus check yet. Uh, I got a notice from the IRS saying that I will get one, but I haven't actually gotten it yet, so, you know. All right, let's do it. Continue to payment. Let's hit donate now. $1,200 stimulus check. Hell yes, look at that. We were able to reach the goal, not only reach the goal, but blow past it. Okay, great news. I've actually been able to get a hold of Godless Mom, and we're gonna have a video call right now. Uh, and she's calling right now, so let, let's answer it. I've been following your Instagram account for a while, uh, and I have to say, I, I love everything that you post. Oh, thank you. I know, I've, I've been, and we've connected a few times on memes and stuff like that, and and I know you've sent me some books. So this was all over some uh, blasphemous, you know, Facebook post that he made. It said that it, it was referring to somebody other than Muhammad as a prophet. And that's it. That that is that is it. That's it. That's it. It wasn't any really like that's 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 yeah. nothing. You're saying that he does stuff for helping people who want to leave religion and as well as uh, LGBTQ and things like that. Yeah, basically what he does is he protects them from like he builds safe houses to give them a place to kind of hide out so that they avoid what he's facing right now. You know, wow. we have it so so nice here. That yeah. we forget that uh, the poor people are suffering, and um, I'm really happy to hear uh, of his bravery, putting his life on the line for that incredibly he's, important cause. He, he's absolutely one of the most brave people I know. Such a kind-hearted, compassionate, well-spoken person. He's very well educated. He's a chemical engineer. Um, yeah. yeah, speaks perfect English. Like he's just, we need him in this world. Wow, that's that's incredible. You know, very, I, I post a lot of videos of, that, that's critical of mainstream religion. And, you know, you get a lot of people who just go, well, why can't you just let people believe what they want to believe? Uh, but the whole point is, is that it gets to a dangerous degree when those religions don't let you have free thought anymore. Do you have to deal with that as well from people telling you, like, why can't you just let people believe whatever? Oh well, yeah, all the time. And the thing is, is that I don't care. I don't care what you believe. It's just, as soon as it starts affecting my life or the life of my friends, then that's when I care. If you're going to try and take other people's rights away, we're gonna stand up for ourselves. Like, it's ridiculous not to expect that we we're going to stand up for ourselves. And and that's it. I, I have no problem with people believing whatever they wanna believe. I But I think that it needs to be a personal thing and you just, it's for you and you only, right? Exactly. And, you know, this is uh, Karl Popper's paradox of tolerance. If you tolerate the intolerant, then in intolerance will breed. You know, if you. Yeah. What are the best ways that people watching can help out? Um, well, we would like to get the petition to higher than 16,000 signatures because that's how much was on the petition that was against him in the first place. So we want to show that more people want him free than want him locked up. Um, but also, I think it's important at this point to to pressure, to put pressure on the authorities in Nigeria. So we have a, a blog post up. It's actually in my um, Instagram bio, the link there. It, if you go there, there's a, like a click to tweet link. So you just have to click it and it's already a written tweet that's tagged the authorities in Nigeria on it. And you, all you have to do is just send out that tweet and just do it as much as you can. And also you can write to your local Nigerian embassy. Excellent, okay, great. And we'll definitely put that link that you're talking about uh, in the description of this video. So if you're watching this, you can go click it and tweet it. Is, is there anything else that perhaps you'd like to say to anyone watching before um, we wrap this up here or? Well, I'd like to thank you for your generous donation and, oh, yeah. um, and for everybody's donations because we now have, like we, we had uh, the lawyers asked for a $5,000 retainer. So we now have more than that. And I know that um, in, uh, Humanist International has also given $5,000 to his legal fund as well. Not the one that, that we're running, but they just sent it straight to 
Nigeria. And um, so we now have more than enough probably to pay for the whole process as far as legal fees go. So we are so thankful to everybody who has donated. And if we do have anything left over, we will be donating it to Mubarak's Safe House Project. Oh, that's fantastic. So if so any leftover money is going towards what he's doing to help, you said, like people leaving religion, LGBTQ, that sort of thing? Yeah. That's, uh, I'm so happy to hear that because even that in itself is uh, an incredible endeavor. So I'm really happy to see that because, you know, that's one of the things that I was saying, like, my God, if I were born there, I would be in his position. Well, I want to thank you for, you know, taking the time to um, talk with me. And uh, I'm sure I'll be keeping up with your posts and uh, seeing what happens here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So nice talking with you. And this is why this hits so close to home for me, because this could have easily been me if I were in Mubarak's position. We must all have the freedom to think for ourselves. And this is why it's so important to expose the dangers of mainstream religion. Now, I want to make it clear that personally, I am not an atheist. I'm a Hyperion. Now, as Hyperions, we certainly don't believe in the God of the Bible. However, we're not atheists. We know that we are God as the universe. And this isn't based on any kind of faith or belief but is instead based on logic and reason, specifically derivable from the rationalist system of ontological mathematics. We place logic and reason above all. And we understand how incredibly important it is to be able to be a free thinker. We cannot stand idle and silent while injustices like these occur. It's so important that people know about this, so hit that share button right now. Let's spread this message. We'll also have the link that Godless Mom was talking about in the description of this video. If you wanna know more about my story, suffering from religious trauma syndrome, watch this video here. We are here to wake up the world. Join our War of the Mind by subscribing right now. And if you enjoy my work, please consider supporting on Patreon so I can continue to bring you more and high quality content. My name is Morg and I am Hyperion. Ad Astra to the stars.